Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the pre-Arsenal press conference. I'm really excited to test myself against Arsenal, one of the biggest teams in English football, but not the one of the biggest teams in European football, because that's Liverpool. Any journalists have any questions? Hello Tom, I'm Chris from the Daily Star newspaper and how do you feel about Wenger's insult earlier today on your transfer business? And I quote Wenger when he says this, the board made the wrong choice with this guy. I mean, look at those transfers. He doesn't know what he's doing at that excuse for a football club. Sacre bleu, Arsene did not see it. Wenger dared to say that. <laughs> Are you f***ing serious? At least I signed some players, bro. Arsene, you are the only manager out of the top five European leagues not to sign an Aussies player. You think you're good enough to challenge for the title? You think you're good enough to challenge for the Champions League? Let me tell you, Liverpool will kick you out of your, the top four. We will kick your ass. Just watch this season. Thanks for your attention. I'm out. I'm so pumped for this game. What's up guys, I'm Tom and welcome to a brand new Liverpool Carrier World episode. If you want to see the next episode soon, smash that like button. Let's get this video to 1000 likes with your help. And also let me know in the comments below, which clubs do you support? I have a lot of different football fans on my channel. I would love to know which club do you support, which club do you watch? And also let me know, do you think uh, Rodgers will get sacked if Liverpool don't beat Aston Villa today, that, uh, that will be very interesting to see. Also, if you want to see the PES 2016 Become a Legend series or the Master League series, I will start uploading on my second channel today, link in the video description. The channel name is TomLFC Heaven 2 and also NBA 2K16 videos will start. I'm picking up my copy on Sunday and also I'm moving uh, the match reaction shows to my second channel because on my main channel I want to focus on uh, FIFA videos for you guys so I can upload more uh, Liverpool and Real Madrid career mode and my player will start very soon. Here we go guys, the Emirates Stadium hosts this huge game. In terms of the title race, in terms of the race for the top four, this is a massive game. So here is the Arsenal team, they are starting with Giroud, Sanchez and Walcott up front. Love that. Go on Moreno. And Benteke is away. Yes, Benteke. Go on. Oh, he's done him. Coutinho! No! Ah, he's offside, no! Come on, Inks. Oh my god. Inks! Inks! Then Inks! Oh, what a chance! Then Inks! Oh, should have scored! Okay. Hendo, Hendo. Coutinho! Oh my god, what? Why? Oh, that should have been one there. Coutinho! Coutinho! No, what a clearance! Oh my god, no! Sante Cazorla missed from five yards. Firmino to Coutinho. Boom! Czech saves it. Just wanted to show you the halftime sets. We are all over Arsenal. 62% possession. Six shots, four on target. Okay. Then Ings! Ah, straight at Czech. Okay. Henderson, Henderson, boom! Jack saves again, I can't believe this goalkeeper! Oh no! One mistake, and this scandal! Fuck this! Wow! One mistake! Oh my god, I wanted to pass it to Firmino, Moreno with the bad pass! All our good work undone. Just one mistake and Arsenal finished it. I can't believe we lost this game. We got absolutely robbed. I honestly, this was my best game on FIFA 16. I kept the ball brilliantly. I created loads of clear cut chances. Coutinho was guilty of not finishing them most of the time. Wow, man, Arsene Wenger will laugh his head off. If we don't take our chances, we will get punished. I'm gutted that we didn't win that game against Arsenal, honestly. And to lose it in the last four minutes is 
just gut-wrenching stuff. Nathan Klein is back from his injury. That's the good news. We are in 15th place. We don't deserve that. Seriously, West Ham at home. We must win this. And I'm going with three strikers up front. No messing about. Change of formation. Lovren comes into the defense. I'm already under pressure as a manager. So this is a must-win game. We must win our home games. Go on. Continue. No, Adrian saves it. Brilliant attack. Are you kidding me? Come on, Fitano. No way. Mignolet, come on. Oh, what a save. No way. What a goal. How can I defend that? I can't believe we are one nil down. What a triangle of passes by West Ham. I couldn't do anything. That that triangle was brilliant. Come on, Ings. Then Ings! Shoot! I can't believe I can't believe how bad the, the finishing is. Yes. Surely, Danny Ings! Yes, let's go! Let's go guys! The names equalizes! Massive goal! Finally we take our chances! Benteke with a brilliant pass, then Inks one touch and he finishes it. We need one more guys. Benteke! 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 No! It was Origi the first time. No! Origi is injured. Are you kidding? Okay. Let's bring on Lalana. Let's put Firmino up there. Okay, let's bring on Milner for Henderson. Are you kidding me? They almost wanted that. What a disappointing result. Again, we, we should have won this game. We created loads of opportunities and chances. The Adrian, the goalkeeper, the West Ham goalkeeper was great. But West Ham also had chances, Mignolet also had to make some saves, so maybe a draw is a fair result. This team needs a lot of work, guys. Four points from four games, though, is a terrible start, so I'm under massive pressure now. So as I was bad-mouthing Wenger, I think it backfired because we lost to Arsenal even though we dominated the game, and then they went out and signed Pastore on deadline day for £32.5 million. Pounds. Also, Man United signed Lacazette, which is a massive, massive transfer. For them. I think in the January transfer window, if the team doesn't improve, uh, we need to make some signings. So we have some terrible news guys, Origi broke his elbow and he will be out for two months, that's a big blow for him. And sadly we are only in 13th place, already a long way away, like 6 points away from Arsenal, 8 points away from Manchester United, but we want to get that top 4 spot this season with this team. I think we are not serious title contenders yet, but I will try and get some victories in the next episode, but the games will be very, very hard. We are playing Manchester United next, which is a massive game, but then we have two cup games where we can boost our confidence. So leave your questions for the Manchester United press conference in the comments below, and of course you can still add me on Skype and send me voice, ma voice uh, questions, audio questions that you, I will include in the next uh, episodes. Uh, so leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching guys. See you later. Goodbye.